Good morning guys, or Calimera, I should say. <laughs> We're still in Greece and we made it to the beautiful island of Sydney today. So if you didn't see the other video, like we had a situation happen which basically, you know, we didn't know whether we we're going to make it to Simi or not. So thankfully we did make it to Simi. So we're here and um, yeah, we had a good night's rest and we have this nice room. The room has impressed me more than roads at this point. So let's see. Uh, let me give you a little tour of the room and maybe I'll let you know a little bit more about what happened with the whole um, fairy thing yesterday. It was such a crazy situation, but we're just glad to be here. So we're here and let me give you a little tour. Yeah, so it's a really nice room. As you can see, you have a little area here. Wash your stuff. Some coffee if you need. And they provide some waters and all that. Some treats. And also wine was there when we got in, guys. So that's cool too. Here's the front door. Here's the bathroom. We turn on both lights. Okay. So yeah. Small bathroom, but very nice actually. Nicest bathroom we've had since. See there, you got two shower heads. And we're really impressed with this bathroom because, oh yeah, one other thing. This, although it may seem like small where you're from, from where I'm from as well, but here in Europe, they don't really have that. So to have that is really good um, because they usually have just like the half thing and then the water goes everywhere and stuff. So it's crazy. The best part about this room is actually not even a room itself, even though this room is nice. The TV, check out the TV. It has, um, it's a smart TV, so it's great. Uh, they have Wi-Fi here and everything, but the best part is, check out this view. Woo, look at that. Oh yeah. That's the part right there. Check out that view, guys. Told you Simi was beautiful. We'll just be heading around Simi, you know, exploring the place and seeing what Simi has to offer. So we're really excited about it. We're glad to be here, you know, happy that we made it and everything. So yeah, oh, so Sophie just got back. Huh? Don't you taste cake? Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> Sophie just got back with our coffees and stuff. And um, yeah, we need it. It looks really good. Yeah. It was right up the street. How far was it, baby? Seven minutes walk. Seven minutes walk? Okay. Yeah, it's all the way in one of the, it's between the local people houses. Okay, and nice. This is the best uh, bakery. It's also called by, to the name of the saint. And what's the name? Eh? Uh, Paramiti. Paramitis. Okay. okay, so the bakery is called Paramitis, which is the name of the saint that everybody comes here to see, basically, or the, the church that people come here to see, which is named after the saint. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna have some breakfast now. Just to let you know a little bit about the room. So the room is called Cabo, that's C-A-V-O, right? Yeah. Yeah, C-A-V-O, Cabo Apartments. And it was on booking.com, so if you wanna stay here, I highly recommend it, honestly, at this point. Easy check-in, everything's good. So yeah, Cabo Apartments. All right, so we're heading out now going to pick up our wheels and then we'll be heading around the island. We really have no set plan whatsoever, so we're just going to play it by ear and see what we find. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're going to change up. Huh? I'm good. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's go. All right. Here's our little hallway. Very uh, Mediterranean. So it needs to be held. Thank you so much for your assistance. Okay. Yeah. 
So our place is like right upstairs from a little shop the lady has. So this is her shop. Come check it out. Give her some business. She has hats, clothes. Yeah. Good morning, Calimera. There it is. Okay. See me. And my darling is rushing. It's really beautiful out here. Oh, that's a clock tower too. Yeah. But probably more as a lighthouse. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're heading to get our wheels. We rented a four-wheeler. So we're gonna pick that up now. Okay, so here it is. Sunglasses? Yeah, I have them. Yeah, okay. I have them. Okay, Calispera. <laughs> so this is the island of Simi here. I'm going to ask for some... Um, Recommendations, see where we can go today. Okay, so this is our bike. So that's a bigger one, huh? <laughs> I'm a big guy, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, whole island. So if you could give us some recommendations. The place with the point which is. Uh, far. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pamornitz is uh, from here 21 kilometers. Okay. Uh, at about 30, 30 minutes. minutes 30 okay. Because you stop to some points to yeah. have water. No problem. Yeah. Uh, and then you are going, uh, you are coming back for Simi. You stop in Marazunda Beach. Yeah. Uh, but in Marazunda, I don't know if you find something, you know, to. It would be very wild, but I don't know if you find something to eat or. Mm, okay. Drink. Yeah. Uh, you are coming to the next, which is Tolly Bay. Tolly in Anikta, Taverna, Taverna Master. Okay. In front of Keep the beach. There. Uh, and then you are coming to Perry Bay, which is back from the mountain. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Ke Apodo in Tolimborio. From the clock tower and left, in yes. four kilometers, you find Nimborio. Oh. Okay. Nimborio is, is a. Probably where that the hotel is near, near the island hotel. Yeah. No, the, the hotel is that way. Uh -huh. So, yeah. but um, yeah. Oh, what's called one? Yeah, that's the basic road. Is huh. one. Yeah, it's from here, and yeah. you go all the way up. Yeah. Okay. okay, so, so from here, this is where you go. You see now I have to go. Yeah. And that releases it. But if. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, and that holds everything. Yeah? Comfortable? Yeah. Okay. What else? Thank you. And the vinegar one? This floor. This is... Okay. And where's the gas station? Uh, opposite. Yeah, regular gas. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, you see what is the red and white flags? Yeah, yeah. From the other side of the floor. Okay. Okay. And so this this way is to one way? Yeah, to go around. Uh, okay. And that goes up. One road? Yeah, like this. Oh. <laughs> Okay, very good. All right. Okay, okay Freddy Stume. <laughs>
Okay guys, so as you can see, we made it out here just to a random spot. Like I said, we're just gonna be following um, wherever we see, honestly. There's only one road they said, right? Yeah. So, it's only one road. And uh, and so we grabbed the bike here. Pretty powerful actually for a little thing. And um, just went up some uh, steep area. There might be a church. Yeah, there is, look. There's a Greek Orthodox oh, church right at the top. Church? No, yeah, not that church. it is. So everybody um, from all around Greece comes here for a particular church for the saint. Um, but this is not it. This is just one of the churches. There's many churches around here. So let's keep exploring and see. But where is it? Is it after the thing? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't see it either. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these are not... Also, look over here. If you look out in the distance, Turkey, yeah? Yeah, you can see Turkey over there. That semi. Farther out would be roads. Yeah. Gotta get my cardio up. It's crazy. Okay, so there's a church. Oh, nice. And a nice little seating area. A little shade. See the church there. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh wow. Look how deep. Yeah. That's going You can up. tell. Mm. Right down there is the beach. Yeah. Water's so clear. Alright, so I found out what this is. It's called the um, the Annunciation Church, basically. Or Ecclesia Evangelisteria. Uh, Greek Orthodox, obviously, because we are in Greece. Um, let's check it out. Yeah. Just to give an idea about this church, we're going to see a bunch more churches, so not going to spend too much time here, but. Beautiful view. Sun is shining today. <laughs> All right, so that was the church there. It was very nice, honestly. Like we just walked around a little bit, but there's so much more to see, and we only have a day and a half here, so we're gonna really try to pack in everything. Um, I'm gonna throw on a rash guard because the sun is beaming. Right, made it to the other side of the island. 
So apparently there's only one road connecting the whole island, which is great. So can't really get lost, but we've made it to the, I guess you would say Western end, if I'm correct with that. Anyways, there's a hotel called Naridis this side. So basically there's not much to see on this side. So we're able to just explore a little bit, get some views, and then we're gonna go back to the other side where we go up the mountain, see the church, all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Nerides. Straight. Maybe you want to get up, you're going to stay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, us. Yes, So we made it to our second destination. So right now we're close to the castle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this area is called Calistrata. Basically good stairs, a good street. Um, so there's a lot of stairs here, as you can tell. Uh, might walk down to the bottom and walk back up, but for right now, we're just gonna walk around and probably see where we can find the castle first. So regardless of if you go all the way down or go up, you're still gonna have to have a bunch of steps. So get ready for that. Hope your cardio is in check. See, this is one of the ways that you can keep fit on traveling, right? Yeah. You have to walk, you have to explore. Because if you're just in the gym half the time, you're gonna be like, eh, boring. Yeah. So when you're living in Europe, right? You gotta park that close to the wall. Because you don't want nobody coming on the side of you swiping you. How many people can sit? Two. That's a two-seater. Yeah. Yeah, definitely two-seater. Okay. Council should be up here. How many steps do you think we did now? I don't know. <laughs> Is the castle that way? I think it's that way. Oh, okay, thank you. This way, huh? Okay. Come on, nice houses. And it's just literally like, no matter where you go, you're getting views. Fast that are here. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Now they come. Huh. Okay, so this we've made it. This is apparently a church. Greek That's Orthodox like Church. And then the castle is next to it. So you can see there. Huh, nice. I'm the local. So where's the castle? Wow. All right. Okay. Yeah. Is it the castle? I think it is. Um, just a note: it's not easy to find this castle. <laughs> I think we're here. Is it the house that they No. I think it's the castle they were storing. Yeah. Is it? 
Εκεί, από εκεί πάμε. Ωραία, ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Να είστε καλά. Καλό χειμώνα να έχετε. Γεια σας. Ευχαριστώ, γεια σας. He was gonna help us see it, fine. Yeah. Wow. Here? Yeah, a nice old man was gonna show us the castle. But, I mean, we don't want him to have to come out of his house to, you know, mm. climb up these stairs and do it. But, yeah, it seems like it's not one of those um, very touristic mm. castles that they're restoring and everything. It's just kind of rough. Everything looks like there's uh, construction going on. So, worth it? Not sure yet. <laughs> yeah. So, follow these signs, guys. If you see these sides, that's where you go. <laughs> I think we found it. Ow! Oh, wow. what Shoot! One of these got me. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Oh, that's why this is in uh, Paris. I wanted to show it on there. Beautiful. Oh, it's okay. Beautiful. Shows. Imagine, huh? Yeah. Wow. Nobody's coming here. Oh wow! This is a, oh wow! Look at that. Yeah, this is super, super, super like off the beaten path type of thing. Like you have to want to come here to come here. It's not one of the very touristic spots, but it's very nice. I would very I would recommend it just to come out here and see you know how the people of Simi live, and then the castles at the very top. Great views. Now, at the foot of this castle it looks like a church. Not quite sure. Check this out, sick cave. Wow. Yeah, very nice. That's a church, so I'm not quite sure if that's what they consider the castle as well. Because obviously a lot of castles um, had churches incorporated into them. This. Let's go up. There we go. Probably a monk's. You can see down there that the shape. You see, baby? Yeah. We're in the castle now. So it looks like to me that they've incorporated the church inside of the castle ruins. Um and people, local people actually come here. Like I said, from different areas of Greece come to this specific island. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna be heading to Destination number three. <laughs> so this is the church at the very top of the castle. I'm trying to see if it's open. Look at that. We are high up. We're going to be heading out now, get something to eat and then, or something to drink and then on our way. All right, so on our way back now, I'm going to get some coffee, of course, and uh, some water and stuff like that, hydrate ourselves and then we're off to the beach.
got our coffees. Here they are. Looks really good. Thank you for the stop. And you always get water with your coffee in Greece, which is awesome. So we just got lost going through that maze. <laughs> it's very tight spots. So we just did a little stop off here, but it's an amazing view. So we just stopped off, have a look. So we're actually not even all the way up yet, but <laughs> what would you say? Probably halfway up, baby. wheels are not doing too bad but yeah look at that so beautiful and those are the little islands also I'm not sure if you can even go to them but yeah see some goats here guys oh wow wild huh yeah. just wild goats Very different. It's more rocky, right? Three kilometers yeah so we just made our way out here to Panadomitis Abbey it says well, Abbey is just a word for like church so they have a lot of abbeys in England and stuff like that so there's a lot of different influences all on this island from what we can see yeah so really beautiful out here and this is the main one that people come out here to see right like from everywhere in Greece they come out here so it's cool to be get a chance to come out here and see it I don't know that if we can go inside with the time right now, so we might just walk around and see what they have around this area. Okay, so apparently this monastery or abbey is dedicated to the Archangel Michael of Panormitis. Uh, of the Diodicanis of Greece. So yeah, it's it's this is for that archangel and people come here, you know, obviously it's a part of their faith. Sailboat out there. Can you imagine people sailing around the Mediterranean, sailing around the world? What is that? Baby, that's a turtle. Come, look, two turtles. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Look at this, it's so rare. Wow, that's so amazing. Look at that, sea turtle. And there's another one over there. There's another one over there, he's swimming. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's amazing. So cool. Wow. <laughs> he came up for air, so that's how I saw him. Yeah, I once he came him. up for air, I was yeah. like, oh shoot, is that a turtle? Yeah, the other one was in here somewhere. I think he's gone now. Oh. Smooth. Yeah. See? Oh, hey. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
so big. Yeah, they get really big. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Two sea turtles just chilling out here by the bay. Oh, that's a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. So also we stopped to get some juice. So this is just some apple, orange, and carrot juice. And Sophie is eating some kataifi. Um, but this is like a traditional Greek uh, dessert. You can also put it in ice cream and stuff. So yeah, it's really good. But I think we're pretty much done with, uh, actually, whoa, this is the end of the island. <laughs> If you see Simi, this is the end of Simi, literally. So we've done the whole thing. It only takes you about 30 minutes from one side to the next. And then we're gonna go to a beach now, chill out for the rest of the day and just play it easy. Yeah, we've done a lot and the sun has been beating us. Saying we're going the right way, hold on. Yeah, the same we're going the right way. That's so, so weird. Let's keep going. Let's see. Yeah, we I don't know. This looks doesn't look anything like we're going towards a beach, but let's see. Okay, so we see a sign here. But I think we need to go straight that way. So let's do it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're out in the middle of nowhere and it looks like this is somebody's actual land. So we're gonna leave and <laughs> we're gonna try to find a beach closer to our Airbnb, to our apartment. Yeah. Why did it bring us over here? I know, I don't know. It's crazy. It was on the map too. Maybe it's only accessible by, by boat. So, all right. So we made it finally to a beach. Here it is. <laughs> wow. So this actually isn't the beach that we wanted to go to. Yeah, so the beach we wanted to go to was St. George's uh, Bay. But note to everyone, um, you cannot reach St. George's Bay by land in Simi. So you have to take a boat to get there. So we are now at Tilo Beach, Toli Beach, at Toli Beach. And you can get to this one by land. So yeah, let's see how it is. And nobody's here. I hear the kitchen. Yeah, must have just closed up. Yeah. So the tavern, I mean, first of all, it's slow season, right guys? So slow season means that a lot of these places are packing up for the season. It is the time when they are just basically, they don't have enough business to make sense for them to stay open. So kind of go into hibernation mode. So this one closed at six o'clock. There's a couple other places that are open, so we'll go there. It's a nice little beach though. Oh wow, oh, wow. yeah. Oh, it's a rocky beach. But look how hot and nice Oh yeah. Very nice view. But it is a rocky beach though, so I don't know how enjoyable it would have been, right? Check these rocks out too. So this rock is completely different from the rock in um in Rhodes. So yeah. Good. Okay. Oh really? 
marble. Wow. Yeah, I think that it does look like marble though. Look. Okay. Look. I don't know about that one, but Check I'm it. Sure about that one. It's the same thing. Let me see this. So if anybody knows if this is marble, comment below. I think actually you might be right though. Yeah, that looks like marble. And check out this sand, black sand. Crazy. Yeah, there's a bunch of, um, it's either marble or diorite out here. So definitely completely different than roads. And that's the end of the day because we've been around everywhere and it's been adventurous, fun. And if you're liking the video, don't forget to like the video, comment below, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell notification so you can know when we upload another video. But yeah, 